Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Engineering, and today I will be talking about microplastic and how it has been recently found in food that we are eating. A study made by the Plastic Soup Foundation has found that 80% of the meat and dairy products that were tested contain microplastic. In addition, they tested on live animals like cows and pig and have found microplastic in all of the 24 blood tests. It doesn't limit to a meat, but also to a milk from cows, which the um, experiment shows that 18 out of 25 um, has plastic in them. So these scientists have determined the source of the plastic, which is their feed. They tested shedded feeds and feed pellets, and guess what they found? Plastic in them. On the other hand, when they tested fresh food, they found zero plastic. So, as a part of the food chain, we are going to be eating these animals, which contains plastic, which is obviously very da dangerous. You might think, oh, it's small and it won't hurt us, but it's not that simple. I mean, in small amounts, it's fairly harmless, but you also have to watch what it carries and what happens when it has large amount. It can carry um, like toxic metal and bacterium into your body which gonna have long term effects. In addition, in large amounts, it's gonna cause damage to your cells and tissues and at worst it can cause cancer or even death. So if you contain too much, it's gonna be bad for you and this is a reason why we should limit the amount of plastic that we're using because it protects the environment and removing these microplastic from the environment and get and getting these microplastic into pigs and cows which we eat. So thank you for watching the video and if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe. Peace out.